Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Silver Dan. And today I'm gonna be reviewing a martial arts film. That's one of those really old Kung Fu type of movies I'll be reviewing. And just so you know, I won't be reviewing the the uncut version of the film. Just so you know. It's not the American dub version that a lot of people may be familiar with, but I'll talk I'll talk about reviewing the again the uncut version, just so you know. So yeah, this one I'll be reviewing is the one titled The Angry River. So of course, as usual, let's pick up the plot, shall we? Oh yeah. In this particular action kung fu movie folks, there's this character by the name of Lan Tin Long, if I'm pronouncing his name right, whom is the master of this particular castle, whom calls upon an art right swordsman to help him wipe out the notorious character that he wants to get rid of but he is soon brutally federally wounded by the particular leader nicknamed keen hell the daughter of, of the master is sets out to find a precious her herb capable of curing her dying father. This particular herb she eventually grabs, leading her to a series of chaos, so to speak. So yeah, of course we're going to get lots of kung fu martial artists in this particular film. This it's like non-stop action, well, nearly stunt, non-stop action anyway. But anyway, in this particular film, it just sets up the whole idea of like a fantasy kind of thing. But anyway. It comes off like a crazy kind of a movie, but I like it. Yeah, there's lots of sword playing going on, folks. And the production value isn't too bad, I guess you can say. Even though it's very low budget. But anyway, pretty much the plot has something to do with the reign of terror conducted by a mysterious killer dubbed po Poison Dart, if I'm pronouncing that right, whom is hitting on all kinds of people with these poison darts and the, yeah and the thing is when this woman the main character when her father is hit she is told that he can be cured of this particular poison with this thing called the black herb and so she must retrieve this from a particular village on the other side of this angry river so to speak so yeah the thing is so the daughter of the master she is set out on a mission to get this particular herb but of course this is a kung fu movie we're talking about she has to overcome many obstacles on the way there of course and is confronted by various attempts to steal this particular herb from her before she can give it back to her father way back home so it's all together, it's all wild, crazy in its own little way. But personally speaking, I don't mind that really. And all together, it's must, it must be well put together, folks. So, I say that this film is briefly shot. I did like this way it was done, folks. So if you have not seen this particular film, I would say give it a shot. So yeah, the formula for the plot is basically your typical classic kung fu movie style but of course there's nothing wrong with that but there is something very modern about this particular film and perhaps it's because of the quantity is a top notch above some of the other productions of kung fu movies folks yes this is a really old obscured kung fu film but i say it's a good film folks yeah i do like this film a lot more than some of the more updated kung fu movies folks i mean you could tell that this film is you know, kind of fake looking, but I personally, I don't mind it really. It's something I can watch over and over again, folks. This film was was really well done. You can actually get this film on a remastered DVD, so it will look really, really nice, folks. So altogether, I can I can say this film is definitely well put together. It has a solid story with pretty good special effects, considering the time it was made. The fight scenes are really well put together, obviously. I did like how the fight scenes were really well choreographed. The musical score wasn't too bad, I suppose. 
the, yet the musical score does help the movie overall. So yeah, it's a pretty kick-ass movie, folks, all together. There was even a fight scene in the forest, which I thought was pretty cool. And overall, I can't say that fighting locations were really well done, of course. And all this is really well staged all together, folks. Yeah, it's pretty crazy in its own little way, but I personally didn't mind that, really. So, I can say, even say the acting wasn't all that bad, either. I mean, okay, granted, some did better than others. Sure, but I can say that this was definitely a good enough film to be owned for your martial arts collection. So, it's something I wouldn't mind watching again, as I mentioned before. Uh, I did watch the sub this movie with subtitles, of course. Uh, and, um, yeah, that's the thing. That, I guess the dialogue, you can say that is really well done. I like the actress here, folks. She's definitely one of my favorite actresses from the kung fu genre. And she definitely displays her authentic skills when it comes to fight scenes. So, yeah, she really does uh, really well in this particular film, folks. She does a pretty good job here, folks. And, yeah, uh, I guess there's some crazy overall wild movie. So, I don't want to give away too much, really. But all I can really say is what I mentioned before is that I do recommend this film. It's out on DVD for great quality, so there's that. So yeah, all in all, folks, I can say that this is actually pretty good. I really did enjoy it, and overall, it's a solid movie. Be sure to watch it. So, yeah, I just think this was a really enjoyable film as a whole. Even if that one scene with the one lizard, human-sized lizard thing, that the one female Kampo fighter had to fight. That was kind of that was weird. Yeah, she was in this single area and tried to fight that lizard, uh, human sized thing. It was, it was kind of odd. But it's fine. Yeah, maybe kind of weird, but it's kind of like a fantasy thing almost. Not really, but still. But overall, folks, it's a good movie. It's definitely a good film. So, I'll give Angry the Angry River an overall rating. Of a, a six, yeah, a six point five out of ten. He gets a six point five out of ten for me. And of course, as always, thanks for watching and take care. See ya. Oh yeah. Until next time. Mhm. Mm